Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Project Hospital, where today I think our main goal has to be to get hospitalisation stuff all set up over in our emergency department. And if we look over here, we can see that we don't really need that many rooms to get it all up and running. We need an on-call room, a nurse's station, an observation room, and a very exciting sounding trauma centre, unless you're the one in trauma, then it's a bit less exciting, but it's kind of good. That's the exciting bit of a hospital, that's where the medical dramas take place. So we need one of those as well. So only four rooms are required, so that's not too bad at all. However, the big problem is that of course we want to build it over here, and that is where our medical labs are, so they're sort of in the way. But yeah, really, we do need our emergency hospitalization bit over here, because it's quite close to where the ambulances are going to drop people off. We don't really want to build it, say, over here in the corner, because that means that if somebody does get dropped off by an ambulance who's in a bit of a bad way, they've got quite a long walk. <laughs> they've got quite a long trip over there to actually get seen to by somebody in the emergency department. So really, we want it kind of down here so people can get seen to very, very quickly indeed. Because, you know, if you've been dropped off by an ambulance, the chances are that you're going to be a little bit unwell and you need to be tended to quite immediately. You don't really want to have to go all the way through the hospital and down a long corridor and past the little break room and over here and round a corner and over there, over to there, because by that point, who knows what might have happened. So yes, we kind of need our hospitalization stuff over here for our emergency department because it's nice and close to the ambulances. But yeah, we do have a little bit of a problem with our labs being in the way. So we need to find a new home for the labs. And I think over here looks pretty good. I think that's a very good spot indeed. So I think, yeah, we'll get some foundations set up. And the plan is we'll have a smaller waiting room because that waiting room is quite big. And then we'll have a little kind of cleaning cupboard thing because I do like that. And then in terms of the labs over here, instead of having them all in kind of your know, three separate rooms, we'll just have one big room with the three different zones in it just to make it look a little bit more like an exciting kind of lab type thing. So I think that's what we will do. So let's go over here and let's put some foundations down because we're going to need those first before we do anything else. So I think, I mean, how much money have we got? We've got 45 and a half ish thousand monies. It's not that much in the way of money. It's, but okay, so if we drop that to say just there, that gives us the little kind of bit of green around the edge that we like. Okay, so now we've got 35 grand, um, and then we need to get the room set up, but then we can kind of just pick up and, you know, move all the different kind of chairs and plants and screens and everything else. We can move most of that stuff. So here we go, let's get this sorted. Also, that corridor's going to need to change colour just there, isn't it? That bit's going to change colour to the lovely kind of orangey colour over there, because, yeah, it's a new type of department. Okie doke. Um, so what we'll do is then, I think, oh, we're going to have to have a corridor coming down as well, aren't we? We're going to need a corridor. We could have a door. We could have a door down here because the ways into the hospital are quite limited. There's one just there. There's a couple of ways in just there that are next to each other. And that's kind of it. I mean, there will be a way in down here, of course, for the ambulances. Um, so maybe, maybe actually we could get ourselves a little door set up down here as well. It's another $2,000 on just floor. It's very expensive is building the floor. Um, okay, right. So now we need to get some walls in. So I think, yeah, let's drop her that wall, please. And then, I mean, yeah, we do need that wall coming in like that. And then we can swivel it round and have it like that. And then swivel that round and have, oh no, hang on. Yeah, we need a, we need a wall to then put a door in it, don't we? That's kind of how it works. So, okay, so like that. And then we can remove that bit of wall. That's okay. Um, and then, I mean, yeah, where do we put the waiting room bit? Where do we put the waiting room bit? I mean, does that belong up there? Because it's nearer for the people to, you know, it's a bit quicker for our sort of, you know, good old customers slash patients to walk to. So put the waiting room there. Hang on, hang on. I need to zone this out a bit. So let's have, in terms of, hang on a minute, it was the labs, wasn't it? So labs. So cleaning closet can go at the end. And again, it's going to be quite big, but that's okay. So cleaning closet goes right at the end. Then we can have... The waiting room can be 10 by 4. That's okay. So I think that's a little bit smaller than that one. And then we need hematology, microbiology, and histology. So how big is that exactly? That's 13 wide. Well, of course it is. Hang on a minute. Hang on. I've got a plan. So waiting room, make that one square bigger. There we go. And then these can all be like that. So 10 by 4 for the hematology, 10 by 4 
four, whatever. That was microbiology. Is that big enough? Yeah, minimum of four by four. And then histology like that. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. So now we go back to here because then, yeah, what do we do with that wall color and the floor color of that? I think we change that. I think that has to become the corridor of that over there. I think that's a yeah, medical lab corridor now. So we'll do that look. So it kind of shunts the other one out of the way. Um, and then we'll get the flooring. Hang on a minute. Flooring, very important. Go and drip a drop of the floor. So put that like that. That's not what I kind of planned. Hang on a second. What? Drip a drop. Oh, well, what did I do? <laughs> Just blatted the floor out of existence. Right, hang on. Let's try that again. Hey, there we go. Another 600 money is going on that. Oh my goodness me. Right. And then uh, we need some more walls going in, don't we? Um, oh, hang on, hang on. That wall is now, uh, that wall is now incorrect. So we can draw that along like, well, has it gone to, what? I'm very confused. <laughs> I thought I grabbed that. Oh, I've, I grabbed the outside wall. That's what I must have done. Okay, right. So there we go, like that. But thinking about it, does the rest area, the uh, waiting area, sorry, doesn't need a, it doesn't need a wall like that. That's fine. Right, so this has got, by the look of it, that's got the same, hang on, hang on, has that just got, yeah, that just carries on. So the stripy wall is okay for the, uh, for the sort of uh, the waiting area type thing. That's okay. So if we just do that look and draw that in, that's at least that sorted. And then we need to go and copy the other walls as well. So hang on, let me just go and grab the walls over here. So we want that for the cleaning cupboardy thing. So they've got kind of, yeah, nice tiles going on and across there, and across like that, and across like that. Okay, so that's that sorted. And we can put some windows in here, everybody. It shall be lovely. Um, and then over here in the actual lab bit, what have they got over here? Hang on, what have you got? Uh, Joe, yeah, I like that. That's okay. So we'll grab that wall there, and then we'll just have that going all the way across like that and all the way across like that, swivelly, swivel it round, all the way down like that, and then all the way across to there. Okay, so that's fine, that's okay. And then we need to do the floor, so hang on a second. It's hard relocating the entire department. Um, we'll have that flooring for the main labs. Please don't be expensive. Another 1,200 monies, ouch. Uh, we'll have that for the little cleaning cupboard thing. And we will have that dark wood flooring for the waiting room. And that's okay. So there we go. Right. So it's all kind of in more or less. Um, right. Can we, can we move the doors? Can we pick up the doors and things and move them around? Uh, we can remove doors or windows. Uh, can we not pick them up? Then we can pick up all the items. I really want to move the doors. Can we, do we press a button to move the doors? Um... No, maybe we can't. I'm, I'm fairly certain we've moved doors before. I'm quite sure we've shuffled a door around at some point, but no, it doesn't seem to want to let us. Um, because, yeah, we don't really want these doors down here anymore. We need to move all the stuff over. Oh, that shelf's in use. We have to unassign the person from that shelf and reassign them in their new place. That's a bit of a fiddle. Um, right, okay. So I think if we go to over here then... Uh, let's put some doors in. Um, how about, somebody did say, yeah, biohazard doors. Why don't we put biohazard doors here? Because, you know, they're dealing with blood and bacteria and hexagons. So I think we can have some biohazard doors going in because that's quite exciting. That makes it look very dramatic. And then that one can be restricted and that's all nice and open. Okay, and then windows. Let's put some windows in. We hardly ever have windows. So windows with blinds. I like those. We'll have a window with a blind um, like that and one at that end and then maybe a couple in the middle. Uh, we'll have a couple over there like that and we'll even have some in the cleaning cupboard. There we go. Just like that. One at either end of the cleaning room. There we go. Wonderful. I like that. Um, possibly down here, do we need to leave space for an elevator? We might need to leave space for an elevator somewhere over here. But yeah, also, we want to make that into a doorway. So what doors do we have over here? Um, oh, the doors are big, aren't they? The doors are big. Maybe we don't have the big doors down here. Maybe we just have, yeah, like a double. 
like a double door. It does look a bit silly, doesn't it? Because now there's a space next to it. It's fine. Do you know what? We'll have a double door like that. Can we have a double sliding door, though? That would be ideal. Uh, no. No, we can't. It's going to be a double glass door, and that's the way it's going to be, because the sliding door is just too big. Um, okay, that's fine. It's another way into the hospital, and that's okay. Um, and then, yeah, we need to get a little kind of path sorted. What have they got over there? It's the slightly obscure looking sort of, uh, hang on a minute, it's flooring, slightly weird looking dark paved stuff, is it? Um, it's that there by the look of it. Um, okay, we just sort of put that going out like that then. Looks a little bit odd, but there we go. All sorted. And now we need to do the big tedious job of moving all the objects over. This might take a little while because we've got to drag all these things over, but, uh, but uh, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fine. So let's begin with, I'm going to leave the cleaning cupboard till last because we have got that slightly tricky thing in use by one of the janitors. So let's move over the waiting room first. Right, so there is the new medical lab's waiting area all set up. It's quite similar to what it was like before, but I have got rid of a couple of the little sort of checking in machine type things because I don't think we need four of those. I mean, this isn't an overly popular bit of the hospital and I think two of the checking in machines will do just fine. So there we go, that's now being moved over. So that is now all clear. So what we'll do is we shall remove things as we go. So let's unzone that bit there and also unzone that bit there. There we go. And we'll unzone these as well because they're not doing anything. They're completely pointless. Right, so now we need to go to this bit and move all these over into the hematology lab. The only thing is, again, we've got this over here. So we're going to have to unassign Ken Masters. Right, okay, hang on a second. So how do we do that again? Remind me, how do we unassign you, Ken? Um, do we press that just there and then say unassign or something? How do we, how do we unassign you, Ken? I can't quite recall how we do that right now. Um, there must be a button or something. So hang on, let me see if I can remember how we unassign Ken from working over here in the, you know, the blood lab type thing in the Bob place. Do you know, I can't for the life of me work out how we unassign Ken from that computer desk over there. I'm not entirely sure. And I'm fairly certain we've done that in the past at some point. I just can't work it out right now. I mean, there's a dismiss employee option, but we don't want to do that. So I think what we might have to do is if we go back to here, so we need to grab that stuff anyway. So can we pick, yes, we can't pick that up, of course, because it's got his kind of computer on it and that's in green, which means it's in use. So I wonder if we go all the way back to over here and then put in, hang on, what's he got? Is it a nice desk? It looks like a lab desk. It doesn't look like the comfiest of desks to have to sit under because you can't get your feet under them. But there you go. That's what the game lets you have. Um, hang on. Can we have another desk? Can we have a proper desk? No. It looks like they can't even have a proper desk. They have to have a lab desk. Okay, right. So if we go back to over here and we say, uh, okay, right. So in the blood bits, when hematology, uh, we'll put his desk down here in the corner. So it's by a window. That's quite nice. And then we'll put the PC on like that. And we'll have, I think he had a paper holder on the other side, didn't it? So a paper holder like that. Um, and then a lovely office chair and we'll leave it. Do you know what? Let's put it in yellow. Let's have it in yellow, shall we? So like that. And then, uh, I know because it's still not a valid, it's still not a valid uh, sort of room. Okay, so I think now we have to go and move all the other objects over. Right, so here we go. Let's go and grab all these things and shuffle them around because, you know, that might take a little while, but that's okay. So, um, yeah, let's get all these things kind of moved over. Right, there we go. So all of the bits and bobs that were in the old hematology lab have now been moved over to the new one and everything fits. It's okay. It's a little bit of a squeeze because the room is a little bit smaller. And we do have these things over here that are kind of floating around at the minute. They're in the middle of the lab. But, of course, at some point when we get in whatever this lab is, the bacteria lab, what is it? The microbiology lab, of course. I imagine this lab here will require similar elements to the hematology lab over there. So, for example, we've got that thing there. I don't know what that is. A sample storage fridge. So that's over there for the hematology bit. But over here in the microbiology lab, we could put another one of those backing onto that one there. So we can have kind of, you know, a big super lab without any walls and people can walk through and talk to each other about lab stuff and test tubes and bunts and burners and all that kind of stuff. So I quite like that. It's all kind of inclusive in one big kind of super lab. That sounds very good. However, 
Now, can we go to here? Yes, we can. Okay, it's not a new person. Hang on, we want to get Ken set up over there. So, Ken, you have a new workplace now, which should mean that we can then go and get rid of these because, yep, that's not green anymore. That's wonderful. Right, we need to sell that, but that's okay. So, remove those things. That'll get some money back. That's quite welcome. Okay, so that's that done. So, now that lab has gone. So, then we can get rid of that zone just there and it's all fine. And now it's just down to the little kind of cleaning cupboard thing. That won't take that long to move because there's not really that much stuff. So, uh, do you know what? Can we just kind of drip a drop that? Can we, can we do the copy thingamajig? Copy create a prefab. Um, I want to kind of, I mean, yeah, we do want those things, but we don't want the walls and such like, because we've already paid for those. In fact, no, because that's going to copy them and then we have to sell these. We really want to move these around. Do you know what? No, nope, we're going to have to go and move everything, but that's okay. It's not too much of a bother. Look, it's not like it's, you know, a million miles away or whatever. So um, yeah, there we go. In fact, do you know what? There's a window there. Let's put these things no, not in front of the window, because that would be a bit naff, wouldn't it? So, um, yeah, there we go. Hang on, let's go move all the stuff over into the new cleaning cupboard place. Right, there we go. That didn't take too long at all. But now we need to reassign the person that's over here to one of the other things over there. So who are you? So Danny, it's Danny Yuri keeping things clean. Of course it is. Right, so go to here. No, nope, don't go to there. Go to the appropriate. But right, Danny Yuri, there you go. And then we can go back to here. Then we can pick that up and we can put that over into there. Okay, so now that's all been relocated and that is wonderful. Right, so I think it's done. I think our labs have been moved over and that is now all ready to become emergency hospitalization. It took a little while to get there, but we got there in the end. Right, so I think, yeah, we need to go and unassign this. So let's unassign that bit there and then we can delete all of this. We don't need to delete the outer walls, but the inner walls we can get rid of because we need to kind of start again and figure out what we need to do. So let's go to there. And we shall get rid of all of that stuff there and that wall and that wall there and that wall there and that wall there. Now, one thing we do need to do, actually, hang on, we need to move our free books around the place. Hang on. No, that's not the right thing um, because yeah, we've got our lovely bookshelves here, but uh, we want to keep them on offer. So let's put them. Do you know what? Let's put them on the outside over there. Look, they can go between those windows. I think that was on the outside. I'm not entirely sure. Now, hang on on the outside uh yes there we go so again we're still offering free books to people free medical tomes i can learn about medical stuff um okay right so now we've got this whole kind of bit here to work with and we've got twenty-seven thousand three hundred ninety monies is that enough i have absolutely no idea at all we shall find out i guess right, now can we move that thing i'm fairly certain we can move that thing around can't we hang on so ambulance unloading. Yeah, so we can move that. So the most we can move it is over there. Okay, so it's right next to the sort of crossing, but that's okay. So we want a kind of a way in over here. So what exactly do we need? Hang on a second. So let's go to here. So we need the on-call rooms, an observation room and a trauma center. Okay, but now what I don't know is, I don't really know what happens here. I'm not entirely sure of the procedures. So somebody pulls up an ambulance. And they get the, the patient out of the ambulance and says, oh my goodness me, the patient isn't well. They need a lot of treatment on the thing that's happened to them. And then some doctors and nurses will appear and say, quickly, give them 50 milligrams of flopty flop to flean, stat. And they say medical things. And then they take them to the trauma center, I imagine. So do we want them to go straight into the trauma center? I don't know. Trauma center serves as the main entry point for critical patients delivered by ambulances and also accepts collapsed patients. So I would say they go straight into the trauma center. So I say we have some doors over here and then we have a trauma center that apparently only has to be four by four. That seems quite minimal, but OK. I mean, yeah, do we have, say... The trauma center, hang on, we can draw this out, can't we? We can draw these out and then kind of undo it and such. So if we make the trauma center, again, I've got no idea how big this needs to be. Genuinely, I have not a clue how this is going to work. So um, if we say make the trauma center 12 by 10, we could have a corridor coming down there. I do like a nice corridor. So I have a big trauma center to deal with much in the way of trauma. I suppose if it comes to it, if it comes to it, if it gets really busy, we could halve that and have two different trauma centers. 
if we find out that, that one is way too big. So we could have that. And then the observation room, many various examinations can be done here. Patients are under proper medical supervision. Okay, so hang on, what, hang on. Let's click on that. What does a trauma center need? Operating table, anesthetics. Okay, it's like one of the, um, it's like the operating lounge. And you know what? It's going to be really expensive, isn't it? Oh dear. Okay, right. So we might be a little bit hard pressed to get all of this stuff in, but we'll give it a good go. Um, okay, right. That's fine. Then we need an observation room. So I think, like, could that go there, maybe? Six by ten. Okay, what goes in there? Right, beds. So this is your ward. Right, I think maybe that needs to be a little bit bigger. Possibly that could go over there somewhere. That could go over there. I mean, do we have two of those? We could have two of those, I suppose. We could have one here and one there. Um, and then I think, and we could have some rooms backing onto this, possibly. Um, and then we could have a corridor going up somewhere. Hang on, hang on. What if we have... Um, we are going to need, oh yeah, he's going to need all sorts of the bits and bobs, isn't it? But um, yeah, we could have another corridor. How big is that room? So that's eight. So if we had another room like that, that was eight. So if we had a corridor going up like that, and that means we can have another few rooms along here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So I think that's what it is. So that, I think, again, I've got no idea how this is going to work. I genuinely have no idea. Is that too big for an observation room? Is it too small? I really don't know. Okay, and then we need an on-call room and a nurse's station. However, we did see over here that they do need to be quite big. So that one is, yeah, the on-call room is 10 by 5 and the nurses is 5 by 12. So they are quite big. So um, hang on. So how big is that space going to be? 10 by 10. Okay, I think what we do is, I think we make that bigger, we make the trauma center bigger and possibly have the option of having two trauma centers at some point in the future. And then we move that. So we move the observation room to here, make that big. Again, might be too big. No idea. Don't know what I'm doing. Never done this before. And then we have the nurse's station. Hang on. So how big is that now? So 16. So that's way too big. So if we make it, say, 6 by whatever it is, 6 by 11. Is that how big that one is? No, it's by 10. Okay. Oh, yeah. I've done. Hang on. I've done it too big. <laughs> it's too big. Uh, yeah. And then we have a corridor. Hang on a minute. Corridor. We do like the corridors. Corridor coming in, corridor coming down. There we go. So like that. So that could be the nurse's station. So how big was that one? That was six. And then the doctor station can also be six. So six by ten. And then we could have it. Why do we make them a little bit bigger? Why don't we make the nurse's station one bigger? And the on-call room is going to have to be two bigger because it lost one. We made the other one bigger. And then the trauma center can just be huge. And again, we could split that into two trauma centers at some point in the future if we have to. And that can be where the observations take place. So that's going to be a big ward with many beds in. I mean, do we want it like that? I, again, I don't know. I've got no idea. I've never built one of these before in this game. So I'm completely, utterly winging it right now. I don't know if that's what we need or not. Um, okay, so we need some foundations over there. Now, the only thing I'm thinking as well, do we make that even bigger and then just put the corridor at the edge and then just have the corridor kind of cut back in at some point to make sure that we can have a really big observation room. If we're going to have lots of people coming in and they're in observation, then yeah, we want that to be, we don't want people to be turned away is what I'm thinking. We don't want somebody to be like, oh no, help, I'm critically ill. And I was going, well, sorry, but the room is full because we made it too small. Apologies that your arm's hanging off, but bye-bye. <laughs> I'll go and find some glue. So um, yeah, I think maybe... We make that as big as possible right now. That's what we do is this might be all sorts of terrible. I really don't know. <laughs> this might be all sorts of bad. Hang on a minute. So that can come up like that. That makes that entire thing invalid, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, don't make the whole thing invalid. Hang on like that. Yep, that's blatted the entire corridor for this entire department. Oh, good. That's that's wonderful, that is. That's that's great. Right, hang on a minute. Let's put the corridor back in. There we go. It's all back in. Don't mess with my corridors game. I love my corridors. Right, so if we have that going up there like that, and then get rid of that, 
and then make the, again, right, okay, make the observation room significantly bigger. So with that, we might be able to fit another, what, two, three, four beds, maybe? Something like that. And then the corridor could sort of come out a bit like that and go round the edge. And then it could kind of run up in that direction somewhere again. But that's fine for now. Right, okay. Here we go. So what have we got? 27,390 monies. Can we afford to do all this stuff? I'm not entirely convinced. Right, hang on. So firstly, foundations have to go in across there. That's a lot of money. So now we're down to 16 grand already and we haven't put any equipment in or beds or hired any people or anything at all like that. I suspect maybe this is going to go horribly wrong, but okay. Um, right, now we need to get walls in. I'm tempted right now to leave the flooring in this kind of mishmash state that it's in because, uh, because yeah, I think yeah, there's flooring down and that's okay. It's all right. Now, the thing is, what color do we want to have our sort of department over here? I mean, we've got the blue. We've got the blue for our emergency department. I kind of feel like we should keep with the blue, I suppose. Um, so, okay, let's keep with the blue, I guess. So that can be like that. That can go along like that. What's that wall down there? That's blue as well. So that's okay. Right. So there are going to be separate things. They're going to be separate rooms. So I'll put a bit down like that and a bit across the end like that. And there we go. That's all sorted for those walls there. Um, and then, yes, then we need to put the walls into here. So let's get our surgery, not surgery, the, the room here, whatever it was it called again, the trauma center, the, the ER bit. Let's get that set up. So I think, really, how about we have sort of, yeah, tiles at the bottom, white at the top. A bit like, hang on a minute, like that. That looks okay. That'll do the job. That's fine. It's not too much of a bother, is it? There we go. Right, so do that and then bring that round and put that in like that. Okay, the floor is going to look terrible, but we'll deal with that. And then, of course, we need some doors going straight into here because it's very important that people get seen to very quickly indeed. So, um, yes, let's have double sliding doors and we'll just put them, I mean, kind of right there because it goes straight into the middle of that room. Uh, and then we just want to get a little bit of flooring and it's that stuff there. We just kind of do... No, we can't, we can't put that there now. Why can't we draw that? I'm fairly certain we've done that before. Oh, no, hang on. It's not that, is it? Hang on. Which is the which is the flooring we use for the doors? Where's that bit? Hang on. Drop of that, please. Yeah, that. Whatever that is, we'll have some of that. Thank you very much. There we go. Wonderful. Right, so now they can get in. Um, then we're going to need some doors to get out again, of course, because, you know, that's kind of helpful. So how about we have double restricted doors? So we'll have some doors going there so people can run straight down. And we'll have some doors on the other side, like that. Okay, now what I'm thinking is we might need to run time on possibly a day because the operating table is five grand. <laughs> so the operating table alone, it looks, it looks a bit lost, doesn't it, there? It looks a bit lost in this gigantic room. Okay, right, maybe this room is way too big. <laughs> I suspect this room is way too big. We could possibly split it into two of these. But for now, let's just kind of keep everything over in one half then, shall we? So, um, yeah, we'll have the operating table, uh, I don't know, there possibly? We'll put it in the middle. Put it right in the middle. There we go. Very exciting. And now we don't have very much money left. Uh, right. The anaesthetics thing has to go with it, and we're down to 6,200. Okay, I, I foresee a problem with this. And we can get the bins in, that's fine. We'll have a little bin of each, I quite like that. Um, what else can we do? Do you know what? We're only on the start of day nine. Let's see if we run time on a little bit. If we try and get stuff going nice and quick, maybe we can make some money today that might allow us to fund the rest of this ludicrous plan over here <laughs> because this is I mean that room I think is way too big I think possibly we're going to need to make two of those things but that's okay that's fine we can deal with that at some point we might need two of these if things get really busy so that'd be quite handy so door there door there uh yeah wall in the middle and we can you know the ambulances can go in that way or in that way and that'll be fine um, and then, yes, we just need to get all the other rooms set up over here with the doctors and the nurses and the places to stay. But, um, yeah, right now we just need to actually get some money in. I mean, already, 
we're up to 14 and a half thousand just about that's very good how are people looking over here in the new look lab um yeah it looks good and we've got doors with exciting dangerous looking symbols on now biohazard don't go in here people in the chemist um right thomas rodriguez um oh oh okay hang on a second hang on um, you've got the whiteboard thing. So it's a 50-50 between either a shaft fracture of the clavicle or a simple fracture of the clavicle. I don't know what to do with this. So either we could do differential diagnosis or CT. Do differential. Oh no, can you, Danny Powell, can you do that? Can you, Danny, can you do that? Uh, yeah, Doc, Dr. Powell, can you do differential diagnosis? Oh, I don't think you can. Ah, right. Okay, I don't quite know what to do. What do we do now? We could do with sending into a CT scan, but we don't have that. Um, how about we... Uh, emergency care? We can't do that. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what to... How can we just send him somewhere else? <laughs> Code blue. Uh, select department. Send an entry to page to another hospital. You might have to go somewhere else. You might have to go somewhere else because we have no idea how to treat you right now. I'm very sorry. I hope your clavicle gets better. I'm not quite sure what your clavicle is. Is it your arm? Is it your shoulder? I think it's your shoulder, isn't it? Um, okay, that's not great. But as quite a few people have pointed out in the comments, if you do have a situation like that, maybe don't guess. Because at some point, that will come back to get us. Because, yeah, the patient will sue us or the insurance company will find out that we've you know, diagnosed the wrong thing and we'll get hit with a very hefty fine, which we don't want to happen. So, uh, yeah, we'll avoid that, I think. Um, I've just noticed that bit of floor there looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? This bit of floor here looks terrible. It's all plain and boring. I mean, what colour should we make that? I mean, I think maybe if you come into the hospital, it's going to have sort of x-ray stuff over here, isn't it? And CT machines and such like. So should it be that lovely blue colour? Should it be the lovely blue colour? I think it should. Hang on, what have we got it assigned to? It's, um, hang on. It is the, it's not the labs, is it? Hang on. It's not the labs. No. Uh, no, it's the, it's the, um, it's thingy. It's radiology. Yeah. Okay. Well, how about we just make that floor look the same then? Hang on a second. I know we're trying to save money, but it's not that much, is it? Let's do that and drag the floor. And it's 880 monies. And now look, it looks so much better. It looks so much tidier. Um, okay, right. So up to 16 and a half, almost 17 grand now. This is good. The money is coming in. A few people in the comments have asked about our wonderful person over here. So about TJ Potts managing the gift shop. Because, I mean, previously they were doing nothing at all. But now we do have a ward. So maybe we could have some people maybe staying overnight and we could have visitors and maybe the gift shop is getting used. I don't know, but I'm going to think right now they've got a very cushy life. We could, thinking about it, we could send them to do some training because that's what this is about. So while nothing is happening in the gift shop, we can make them amazing because, yeah, um, if you press that button, it sends them away to train. So they won't be available for eight hours. It does cost a little bit of money, however, but maybe we could... Go and send TJ Potts away to become a better gift shop vendor. So when it does actually get used, he's very good at it. Do you know what? Go and do that. Let's go and do that. I don't think we've ever seen anybody go to do any training, have we? Let's have a little look. So what do you do? You're going to sit down and then you're going to make your way. Oh, okay. I am surprised. <laughs> oh, no, he's going to the loo. He's going to the toilet. I thought you were going to go and do your training. But no, you've nipped the loo first. Right. That's fine. Now you're going to do your training. Yeah, undergoing training. So I imagine you're going into here and you're then going to do some training. Okay, so you're reading a book. You're learning about how to be a better gift shop vendor. Well done you. That's quite good. We're up to 20 grand, almost 21 grand. This is all wonderful. Now, of course, that will come down quite a chunk when we pay wages. But um, but yeah, at least it's going up quite nicely now. So hopefully we have a little bit of money left. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, it's another clavicle thingamajig. Right, yep, sorry. We have no idea. And we're not going to do it wrong because, yeah, we'll get hit by a big fine and we can't afford that. Um, okay, we've got people over here. Got one person over in the ward. They've got Nebusitis. Okay. A bursa is a small fluid-filled sac which acts as a cushion between bone and areas prone to friction. Bursitis refers to swelling of said sac caused by inflammation. James Scott... 
There's a lot of clavicle damage going on recently. Okay, I think the game is basically saying you need to get a CT scanner in. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Could you could you do the differential diagnosis? Doctor is not qualifying. Now, oh, botherations. Okay, that's unfortunate. Danny Powell, can you learn that, please? Um, do you know what? We'll have to send you away as well. It's not very good because, of course, we're not getting paid for that. We don't get money for sending them somewhere else. But, uh, but yeah, there we go. That is the way of things. Right, 25 grand. This is okay. 25 grand. And our emergency hospitalization department is looking minimal. It's it's looking bare and basic right now. But very soon we'll have something done. If this is another clavicle whatchamacallit, I'm going to be very surprised. Um, oh, no. It's it's not. Okay, what do we do with this? Um, heart monitoring, ECG, biopsy, CF, sampling, MRI. C oh, hang on a minute. Can we do anything? So she could possibly have chronic kidney disease, kidney stones, renal contusion. Okay, that's a bruise of the kidney. Ugh. Cat scratch disease, interstitial nephritis, okay, and inflammation of the kidneys. Oh, come on. What? Spondylolis thes thesis. What? A displaced vertebrae. Uh, oh, hang on. There's two pages <laughs> How do we look at the others? There's so many. There are so many things. Oh, I, I, there's a screen appeared. And I don't know what that means. Um, okay. I don't know what we can do. What do we do with you? Oh, and it's gone to Penge Cupboard. I mean, of all the people to get this tricky thing here, I'm not sure Penge Cupboard is the one that should be doing that. Um, you might have to go somewhere else. You might have to be sent away. Sorry, Linda Davis. We'll get a CT machine in at some point. But uh, yeah, right now we need to get the hospitalization stuff all set up. And yeah, of course, if we do that, um, what? What, what, what? Somebody actually was using the gift shop. And for the first time ever, maybe. And we've sent the gift shop person away to do some training. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Kate Harris popped in to buy a gift. Kate Harris visited Christopher Harris. And she wanted to buy something nice, but she couldn't because the person in the gift shop was not there because I thought it wasn't working. Um, okay, so 25,318 monies. That will come down when, of course, we get to the end of all the uh, working day and such like, which won't take too long. So, um, yeah, at the end, so 8 o'clock, I think, is when all that happens, isn't it? So some people are going to clear off at the end of the day shift. So um, we'll still see some stuff going on over here. In fact, there's somebody being operated on right now. It's exciting. Okay, that's good. Right, so we'll see how much money we have left when it comes to this time. So, okay, so 17 grand. That's certainly better than what we had before. Right, so let's spend a little bit of that on getting the rest of this kind of set up. It's going to be a long project this isn't it it's going to take us a long time to get this sorted but okay do you know what no it's fine we can do this right the operating table still isn't set up properly because we need a medical light and then we need ooh, operating room lights we can have both of those oh, let's have both of those oh they were oh they were really expensive okay maybe we shouldn't have had both of those but now it's done so never mind uh, we'll have a board on the wall for, for reasons because we can yeah a few people did say in the comments that um that yeah the scrubbing sink and the bit where you put your scrubs on should be separate to the actual lab bit um and yeah i think that's right from when i've watched medical dramas which is what all my knowledge of this game is based on i don't really watch that many medical dramas but yeah they're in a separate room aren't they so they kind of have a little room and they go through to the operating theater itself the operating theater the operating lounge oh dear i've confused people again by saying theater um Okay, right, hang on a minute. So there we go. Move though. Oh, that, no, that's not going to hang on. Put it... Oh, no, not, no, I didn't want that there. I want that in the middle and that like that. Um, okay, so what else can we afford? 15,800. So let's have a tall equipment cabinet and we'll put that there. Okay, that's fine. So the operating table is all set up. That's good. Right, disinfectant dispenser. We'll put that on the wall just there. Um, defibrillator on the wall as well. Just wall-mounted things. Fast USG. Um, okay, that looks like it needs to go on a, a table of some sort. Uh, we've got this thing. So what's that? Mobile workstation. Oh, okay. Well, that's a mobile workstation. Hang on. Could we put that, move that over into that corner, move the mobile workstation over there for now? Um, yeah, okay. So that can be beside the bins. 
Um, so we need OP digital imaging. Um, <laughs> does that need to go anywhere specific? We'll put that there like that. Um, and then fast USG. Uh, yeah, that looks like it belongs on a table, but it does cost 8,000 of the monies. It's quite expensive. Uh, let's have an equipment table. Um, can we put that? Hang on a minute. There. And then can we put fast USG on the equipment table? Right, that's valid. That is a valid room. It's not a very good room, but it's a valid room. There's nowhere for them to wash their hands or put the scrubs on or whatever. But there we go. It's a valid room that is doing something. Right, so I think, hang on, can we check it's valid? Can we go to there and have a look? Yes, we have a trauma center. Okay, that's good. That's exciting, hooray for the trauma center. Okay, right, hang on a second. Um, we've only got five grand. So I think now we need to speed through to the end of the day when all the people on the night shift get paid. So all the folks over here, not too many people, thankfully. So they should get paid. Our money will come down. And then I think we need many, many days of just running time on to get a great big pile of cash. Because, yeah, we just can't afford to do all of that stuff right now. We need to get another wall in. And then we need to get all the stuff into the doctors and the nurses rooms over here. And then we need to get something set up over there with some beds. And we could do it in a minimal sort of way. I guess we could do it in a very minimal sort of way. So we don't have to have the room that big to begin with. We could have the room kind of coming down here and then eventually expand the room. But uh, yeah, OK, let's see what things look like in the morning. Let's see what the uh, let's see what the finances look like in the morning. I'm going to predict bad but there we go we will see so five thousand seven o'clock i think we should see the actual money come down so five one seven nine oh okay not too bad not too bad at all okay right so now we just need to have a whole other day of stuff happening and hopefully we can get back up to about 20 grand or whatever it was because yeah we're gonna have to we're gonna have to live day by day building this department over here. It's going to take a little while to get sorted. I mean, already we're up to 11 grand. I assume that was all the payouts from the people. Yeah, look at that, 3,000, 3,000, 800 from you over there. That's very good. I mean, let's at least get the, um, let's at least get the wall set up in there. Let's at least do the walls. What are the walls like over here in the nurses bits over here? They've got the brown kind of stripe in the middle. So hang on a minute. So if we go to there and grab that, but then make it blue, I think that will look pretty good over here. And they look, are they the same? Uh, yes. Although actually that wall is different for them. Oh, I need to sort that out because that just looks rubbish. Right, hang on. Yeah, so this is going to be um, like that. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I can cope with that. So bring that down like that. Put the walls back down again. Um, right, so let's get those walls set up. Okay, there we go. So the walls are in and then let's get the doors in, shall we? So let's get, let's have, should we have double doors going into these because it's all very exciting? Uh, yeah, let's have double doors and we'll have double doors going in. There we go. So we're trying to do a little bit as we go along. And then I think... That's all we can do, really, because we do need to save some money, don't we? We do need to save a little bit of money because, uh, yeah, we haven't got loads anymore. Right, so put time on nice and quick. Ah, there we go. TJ Potts has finished doing their training. Their skill at doing gift shopping has gone up by 8%. Well done you, TJ Potts. 46% now. Abilities at doing gift shopping. Okay, that's that's okay. That's not too bad at all. That's sort of all right, I guess. Um, yeah, it's a shame we missed that person. It's a shame we missed the person that was waiting to buy something. Let's have a look and see if anybody comes in today to buy anything from the gift shop. And if they do, let's see what they actually buy. Because I've got no idea. I mean, we did sort of kit out quite a, a full gift shop. There's all sorts on offer. There's fruit, which I imagine must have gone off by now. It's been there many days. And T-shirts and plants and whatever those things are and things. Um, oh, patient got diagnosed incorrectly. Um, ankle fracture. It was a dislocated ankle. Oh, um, okay. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> I can't undo it. Dislocated ankle. There you go. Right. Yeah, it's a dislocated ankle, everybody. Do stuff with that, please. Um, hang on. Back to the gift shop. Come on. Somebody pop into the gift shop. Somebody buy a t-shirt or something. And I went to this hospital and their service was weird t-shirt. Um, no. TJ Potts has cleared off again. Probably gone to the loo or for a bit of food or something. Back you come over here, sitting down again. 
pretending to do some work, but you're probably really bored. Uh, you've cleared off. I mean, we're going to get to the end of the day, aren't we? We're going to get to the end of the day. Ooh, Dave's leveled up. Dave is a specialist. Well done, Dave. Very good job. Very good job indeed. And uh, yes, because Dave does have advanced diagnosis, a few people have said, has he got a whiteboard in his room? Yes, he's got the whiteboard that allows him to do the advanced diagnosis. It's just there. I think all of them have got those in now, except maybe Dr. Penge's room, because Dr. Penge can't do that sort of thing. Because Dr. Penge is not our most medically qualified doctor. They're wonderful and they're friendly and happy. But yeah, they can't do the advanced diagnosis stuff. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll put that in if they pick up that skill. I'm sure it's fun. Do you know what? Actually, hang on. Do you know what? Let's just put that in now. Let's just get it ready, shall we? Hang on. Where is it? Um, it's a whiteboard. So hang on. So grab a whiteboard and we'll put it... Oh dear, where can we put it? Dr. Penge's office is a little bit of a mess. I will put it... There, that'll do. Wonderful, there we go. So that's in just in case we need it. Oh, and we've completed one of the objectives for the, was it the uninsured people? So look at that, there we go. Treat 45 patients per day. We've done that, even though we've sent some people home. That's quite the achievement. Um, so now they're going to send 25 people our way. That's very good. Two people still waiting. That's fine. Um, so what's their goal now? Treat 50 patients per day. Prestige bonus 20% for one day. Doesn't seem very much, but okie doke. Um, right, okay, that's fine. So let's just run it on. Let's see what money we have to play with at the end. So 26 down. Oh no, it's eight o'clock. It goes down, doesn't it? So almost 27 grand. We're actually making some good money. It seems to be working okay. It's not like we go you know, broke at the end of every day or whatever. But um, yeah, if we're trying to do this big building project, that losing, what was that? About eight grand on wages. That's, that's quite substantial, but okay, that's fine. Uh, right, so what have we got? 18 and a half grand. Can we do anything else over here? And when we do need to maybe get some walls set up over here in this bit. What's the um, what's the wall look like over here on the ward? Because that's going to be effectively a ward, isn't it? I think what we'll do is, what we'll do is, let's grab that, grab the, uh, oh no, hang on, I'm on the wrong bit. Grab the wall like that, but then make it blue. And we'll just see what they've got as a wall. Because I'm not entirely sure what it is. So hang on a minute. So like that. Bring that across. What is it? Oh, it's just it's a stripey. So we'll begin with a little one of these. Because I don't think we're going to get a bigger one in. And we'll make it bigger as we get some more money. So a little one of these is going to have to do... You know, going to have to do for now. Um, right. So go to here. Earn zone that for now. But we know where it's going to go and then get the observation room back in. Then we need to get some doors, of course, sorted. So hang on a second. So let's get... I mean, what doors do we have for this? What, do we have double slidey doors? Um, what have we got over there in that one? Doors with round bits in. I mean, I quite like those. Double door with oval windows, but blue, with a blue stripey bit on. Uh, yeah, you can go in from that side, or you can go in from that side quite like that and then of course that will be bigger as we go anyway okay and then we want to get a floor in what floor has that ward got again we'll just copy that one so grab that go to floor drop of the floor no don't no <laughs> drop of the floor put that back in turn it blue i need to remember that that does that and then put that in okay and then click into here oh crikey we need many many beds hang on what what are those beds what are those beds? Are they the modern beds or are they the high-tech beds? That's 2,000. That's 2,000. Hang on. Let's grab. If we drop a, that, we'll figure out whichever one it is. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> it's one of them. I don't know. And um, for now, we'll just put that there. Okay, I think it was a modern hospital bed rather than a high-tech one. Um, oh, yeah, because it provides more comfort. Okay, that's fine. The bedside cabinet needs to go in. Oh my goodness me. There are many things that we need to have. Crikeys. Uh, okay, do you know what we can do though? We can at least sort the bins out. The bins can go by the door. There we go. That's sorted. Um, yeah, the bed still isn't done. It's a life monitor. 
and a life monitor advanced. If we're going to do it, we might all have an advanced one. Okay, looking at this, maybe we make that back wall there where all the utility stuff is. So we can have the equipment cabinet and the bins and the other bits and bobs as well. So I noticed they do need a scrubbing sink and sanitary equipment and all that kind of stuff. So a scrubbing sink can go just there. And I kind of feel like as well, we should have some sanitary equipment as well. We'll put that next to the kind of equipment cupboardy thing in a jig just there. Um, and then a mobile workstation. I mean, that can go anywhere, I suppose. We'll put it there for now, but you know, it's mobile. So they can move that to wherever they need it. And then they need a few other bits and bobs. So a defibrillator, right. So that can go on the wall. So that's quite handy. So how about we just put that on the wall as you walk in? And right, how much money have we got left? Eight and a half thousand. So now they need the audiometer and the CRP scan. So those are things that go on tables, aren't they? So I think, hang on a minute, if we get ourselves, oh, there's all sorts of extra bits and bobs, scrub shelves and everything. Um, I think if we get just, I mean, yeah, where, what can those things go on? What can they go on? I mean, do they sit on a, do they sit on a desk? If we put a stainless steel cabinet in, are they going to sit on one of those? Or does it need a proper table? I'm not entirely sure. I uh, know that can go on there. That's fine. So I think if we get another stainless steel cabinet, put that there, go back. Can we put the audiometer on there? Yes, we can. Okay. So now that's a very basic, very minimal sort of uh, whatever it is, observations room. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. I do like the bed sockets. I kind of feel like we should have some bed sockets. Hang on. Which ones have we got over here? We've got those ones. I think it's these ones here. So yeah, let's have a bed socket with this bed as well. Hang on a minute. Where does it need to go? It goes on the wall behind it, does it? There we go. Um, and I think that will do for now. That will do for now. But again, if we make that very big, if we make that very big, we can put all sorts of bits and bobs across this back wall. We can have cabinets, we can have some chairs, we can have an oxygen tank, scrubs, all that kind of stuff. We can have a few wheelchairs as well. In fact, you know what? It wouldn't do any harm, I don't think, to right now just have one wheelchair, just kind of parked up like that for now. And one bed, okay. Right, so now we have a valid, in fact, do you know what? No, it isn't valid. It's completely invalid right now because what that room needs is a lovely plant. Hang on a minute, that can go just there for now next to the wheelchair. We'll move that around to a better place, but there we go. It's got a lovely plant in it now. So that's now all sorted. So I think all we need to do now is get the on-call room sorted, which is going to be desks and PCs and various bits and bobs. And then that over there as well, which is equipment and desks and PCs. How many people need to work in here at a minimum? Hang on, hang on. Let's have a quick look. So the on-call room is one doctor. So minimum one doctor. And the nurses station is minimum staff requirements one to three nurses. Okay, and then there has to be a stretcher as well. But of course, we do need night staff because people can get injured at night time as well as the daytime because that's how it works. So yeah, we're going to need two doctors, two nurses at least. I suppose maybe we want more for the day, possibly. And then a stretcher as well. But yeah, right now we're down to 7,179 monies again. So I think what we'll do is... We shall fly straight on till morning, which is all very good. So that's going to take a little while to get sorted, isn't it? When we get to the morning, we'll try and run the game on again, run it through an entire day, get the money. Then I think we can get that sorted. Then I think we can get both of those rooms sorted at a very minimal level. Um, oh, botherations. Um, bad weather and low temperatures cause 25% more of your patients oh, to come to the clinic. Oh, 25% more people are going to come because of the bad weather and low temperatures. Oh, oh, okay. That's good, isn't it? That's a good thing. We can have more people turning up. Oh, okay, that's fine. So hopefully, yeah, we can get 50 people in. And if we can treat 50 people, which is very unlikely, but if we can, that's gonna mean even more money for us. And then of course, more money means we can get all this kind of stuff done. And then we have to go and hire some people as well, because of course we're gonna have at least two doctors and at least two nurses. So we're going to hire at least four new people, which means four people are going to appear from the Wheel of Names, which is always very exciting. I do like that bit of this game. I like seeing where the Wheel of Names is going to land. But uh, but yeah, let's run time on until the morning. And then I think what we'll do is we'll wrap things up for now because we have done quite a bit. I mean, OK, a big chunk of the sort of the start of this video was moving things around. 
which isn't exactly the most exciting, but you know, we had to kind of move the labs over to make way for this bit over here. But um, yeah, we got there in the end, so that's been all moved over. But uh, yeah, I think, yeah, now we're kind of starting the day, which I'll pause it. We'll finish up for now, but next time, when we come back, we're going to get all this sorted. We'll run it on for a day or two, possibly, get a great big pile of money. We will do the flooring and stuff, because it still does look a little bit weird with this kind of mishmash flooring going on. It looks very odd. Like, look, this place here, they've got this kind of really important bit of the hospital where we save people's lives and it's on wooden floor. It just doesn't look right. It doesn't look right at all. So we need to change that around because that's a bit of a mess. Yep, get those sorted. That's sort of okay right now, but we could do with making that a bit bigger as more money comes in, get the people in, and then see what happens with this. Because I really don't know what happens with this. So we're gonna see this in operation. We're gonna have life-saving operations happening over here. It's all going to be very wonderful indeed. But yeah, we'll have a look at that and how it all works next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvelous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Project Hospital. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, it, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. Is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush. <laughs>